So there's recently been an update in terms of the number of active customers that are going onto eBay to buy things on a daily basis. And it's not really looking too good because if I jump into this chart over here, we can see that around 2018, there was around 179 million active customers that were going onto eBay. However, since 2022, the numbers have slowly, slowly declined each year. And now there's only around 138 million customers that are going onto eBay to buy things. And this is very important to know because if you're currently selling on eBay, you need to make sure that you're or doing certain things to protect yourself. And if you're new to this channel and you've never seen my face before, I'm a full-time eBay seller. I've been selling on eBay now for the past 10 years and I still rely on the income that my eBay stores generate. So I'm gonna go through the four or five different things that I'm personally doing when it comes to the things that I'm doing to protect myself from the fact that there's less customers shopping on eBay every single year. So I don't wanna waste any more time and I wanna get right into it. So if you find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Okay guys. So one of the first things that I'm personally doing when it comes to protecting myself from the fact that there's less customers going onto eBay on a daily basis is to make sure that I'm generating multiple streams of income from my e-commerce business in general. And the way that I've been doing this over the years is by making sure that I'm selling a product that not only can I sell on eBay, but I can sell on every single different e-commerce platform. And I've broken it down into this funnel right here. So what I do is that I use the two main e-commerce marketplaces, which is eBay and Amazon, when it comes to getting customers. And I move those customers down to my own independent website, which I use Shopify to host. So of course I still rely on the income that I'm bringing in from my eBay business and my Amazon business, but I like to use these two platforms as a way for me to get free traffic. Then what I do is move the customers that I get from these two websites down to my own website. And the reason why I do this is for two different reasons. First reason is that I'm gonna be able to reduce the eBay and Amazon fees that I'm gonna to have to pay. And the second reason is that I'm gonna be able to take a little bit more control over my business and not have to stick to the rules that both eBay and Amazon say that I have to stick to, which is gonna help me when it comes to optimizing my business and finding creative ways to compete with all of the different businesses out there. And this is one of the main things that I teach in this channel, which is that of course you wanna focus on just one platform to begin with. And I always recommend that eBay is a great way to get started, but eventually you wanna now make sure that you're branching out to other platforms because it's not safe to rely on any one platform because anything can happen overnight. Then what I do once I've now got the customers on my own website, I've been able to collect their email address. I try and figure out ways for me to do wholesale orders as well as direct sales. So one of the best decisions that I personally made when it came to starting one of my first ever eBay stores is that I sold a product that I knew customers may want to buy in bulk down the line. Of course, I'm still selling one-off items here and there, but what I like to do is make sure that I'm building up a big client base of customers that are buying 10, 20, 30 different units of the products that I'm selling at any single time. Because by doing it this way, I'm able to bring in a large source of income into my business. But again, if you're a beginner, you just wanna start off very simple, but bear this funnel in mind and try to remember to focus on selling items that maybe a year, two years after you start, eventually you're gonna be able to get wholesale orders and get direct sales directly into your business and not necessarily have to rely on any e-commerce platform. So swiftly moving on to the second thing that I'm personally doing due to the fact that there's less customers shopping on eBay every single day is to make sure that I'm analyzing my competition. Now, when I say analyze your competition, what that means is that you wanna see if your competition sales are slowly declining or if they're increasing. And if your competition sales are increasing, even though there's less customers shopping on eBay, that means that they're either selling a new product that you could potentially also add to your store as well. Or maybe they just figured something out that you can also implement to your own eBay business and increase your own sales as well. Now, the way that I do this is by looking at one of my biggest competitions. So I'm gonna jump into eBay and use this store as an example. So this eBay seller sells various different car parts and accessories. And let's say, for example, that I was also selling car parts, accessories, and all of these different type of items. And this was my biggest competition. What I'll personally do is on a monthly, maybe every couple of weeks or so, I'll go into their store and see how many items they've got listed. And what I'll do is try and figure out which item is performing best in their store by scrolling down, looking at the featured items. Now, of course, you can do this manually by scrolling through all of their different products just like this, or you can use a product research software called Zeek Analytics, where they're gonna be able to show you all the information you need. And the way that Zeek Analytics works is that all you need to do is copy and paste the eBay store's username right in here, and then they're gonna be able to show you all the information for the last 30 days. And straight away, what I like to always look at when it comes to analyzing my biggest competition is how much money they made in the last 30 days. Then I compare that with my number because if let's say, for example, I was doing around 
$50,000 per month. However, my biggest competition is doing around $110,000 every single month. That means that there's definitely something that they know that I don't know and there's something that I can learn from them and also do with my own store to kind of increase my sales and get to the point that they're at where they're able to sell almost 4,500 individual units. So when I started doing this with my own eBay business many years ago, and I started analyzing the biggest sellers in my niche, I was able to see things like how many active listings they had. And as we can see with this seller, they've currently got 1,700 active listings. However, only 489 of them were successful, which means that 489 of the products that they're selling was able to bring in this amount of money. Now, the good thing about using Zeke Analytics is that they're gonna be able to filter out all of the different listings that actually performed well by scrolling down to this section over here so we're going to be able to see all of the different products that brought in the most money in this seller store that we can also add to our own ebay store if we wanted to and the main point that i'm trying to make of all of this is that it's very important to make sure that you're doing competition research especially during times like this where there's less people shopping on ebay because you're definitely going to be able to learn so much that's going to help you build your ebay store improve your sales because by learning from those that are ahead of you you're going to be able to start implementing all of these different strategies and tactics that they're using and i don't just do this with just one of the sellers within my category i try and do it with at least five or six on a monthly basis i come into zeke analytics analyze how much money they're making how many items they sold compare it month after month i try and see if there's any trends or patterns amongst the five biggest sellers within my category and then I try and do those exact same things. All right, so moving on to one of the next things that you guys need to do as soon as possible with the products that you're selling is to make sure that there's a similar number of people that were buying them last year compared to this year. And the reason why you need to do this is obvious. You need to make sure that the category or the products that you're selling hasn't been affected due to the fact that there's less people shopping on eBay. And the way that I like to do this is by using the product research tool called Terrapeak. And one of the first things that you're gonna be able to use Terrapeak for is the fact that you can search for an item that's selling and then scroll down over here and they're gonna be able to show you how many units were sold on each and every single day. We can see that last year in 2021, there was around 2,000, maybe up to around 2,300 units that were being purchased every single day. However, since 2022, it's dropped down to around 1,400, even as low as 761 units that are being bought every single day for this particular item. And I'm sure that if you go away and use Terrapeak to double check your product, you're gonna be able to see if the items that you're selling has been affected. And the reason why I'm making this video isn't to say that every single item on eBay has been affected due to the fact that there's less people shopping on eBay because there's other products out there. For example, this one right here, which is a backpack where over 26 million pounds were spent on this item. And if we go down to this graph over here, we can see that last year in 2021, there was around 2,600 units that were being purchased every single day. However, in 2022, we can see that it goes as high as around five thousand units so there's a lot of categories and a lot of products out there that are still performing well not just that they're even performing better than what they were last year in 2021 and that's why it's very important to make sure that you're consistently doing product research to make sure that the items that you currently have listed haven't been affected because there's no point wasting your selling allowance on items that are eventually going to die off or maybe less people are going to be searching for them i myself like to Make sure that all the items that I have listed on my store are winning products that people are searching for on a daily basis. And of course, this is gonna take time for you to do the right research, but this is what building a successful eBay store is all about. In my opinion, I don't really think that eBay's dead or eBay's dying. I just think that it's your job as an eBay seller to make sure that you're listing products that people are still going onto eBay to search. Because even though this chart does look kind of bad for the fact that there is less people going onto eBay every year, there's still 138 million active buyers that shopped on eBay in quarter two of this year, which is still a lot of people. So the key is to figure out which are the most popular categories and products that these 138 million people are searching for and then making sure that you're selling those exact items. And of course, doing the other things that I mentioned in this video, for example, building multiple different streams of income so that you're not solely reliant on the income that your eBay store is going to generate. If you're able to do everything I said in this video, you're gonna be able to weather any storm that eBay is currently going through right now. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much in advance. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to watch a completely free webinar where I go through my story of what I did 
in the early days for me to grow my eBay store to eventually start making $3,000 every single month, then you can watch that free webinar by clicking the first link in the description down below. Or if you rather watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I broke down four different tricks that you can use when it comes to making over $10,000 every single month with an eBay business, then make sure you click the link right there. Make sure you check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.